welcome everyone to Nitro, man, last week, an absolute screw job on Goldberg, new world champion, Shawn Michaels, Goldberg screwed last week after that attack by Dean Malenko, who is safe to say is now part of the NWO as well. Well, speaking of new world heavyweight champion, there he is, the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. The challenges were thrown out last week, and well, it just didn't work out. The Rock and Roll Express, they all took the risk. It worked for Booker T. <laughs> Booker T managed to win back the US title the very next night after losing it, but... Uh. Uh, I'm not in the mood to play games tonight, so let's get down to business. You see, people seem to forget we run this show, where we run this industry. We are the top of professional wrestling on a Monday night. How long have I been in WCW? I am the leader of the most powerful group ever seen. I'm one half of the tag team champions and I am your world heavyweight champion. Now you can't argue with the fact. Now Dusty made it clear himself as well last week at the next pay-per-view NWO is taking it all. We are going for every championship. We will have everything, all the power, and we will show that we are dominant. And wait a minute. Well, this was a man that uh, was part of the group of superstars who decided to throw out the challenges. I believe it was Shawn Michaels that made this man tap out in the tag title match last week. I say they got Scott Stein up and uh, Shawn Michaels and Nash to put the tag titles and US title on the line as long as Goldberg put on the world title. And well, Robert Gibson, one half of the Rock and Roll Express, is out here. He lost the TV title last week as well. He put that on the line. But then, of course, uh, Dusty made the tag team title match instantly right after. Which just wasn't fair either. Now, you know what? I'm not one for coming out here with a microphone and every week. I've done it last week. And you know what? He's played all your little games again. He's waited... Till I defended my I had my television championship match, and as soon as that match was done, you instantly rang the bell for the tag match. Look what you done to Goldberg as well, where you got your boy Malenko to attack him. Right, okay, okay, Robert Gibson, Mr. Gibson, you can come down to the ring. I know you and your partner have been out proving yourselves recently that. You can go in singles competition. That's that's good for you. You remind me of a certain someone who really tried to become a solo act and, well, was just stuck in my shadow. Mm, that could be a pop at a number of people. <laughs> See, I hear you shouting your mouth off, tough guy. You're saying you can beat anyone here. Now, I'm not out here to challenge you one-on-one. -on -one. I'm out here to see if you've got the guts, the balls, to do the tag title match that we asked for last week and actually face me and Ricky Morton tonight. Oh man, are you done? I just fell asleep listening to you. Why would we give you, you got your tag title shot. I mean, you got back of the line now. There's other teams that would like to face me and big sexy Kevin Nash. Why should we give you a shot? Well, let's not mince words here. I don't like you, and well, you don't like anyone. 
but you know fine well you took advantage last week. You waited till I finished a match, instantly started the next match. You knew I wasn't 100%, so prove it. You think you're the greatest, prove it. Well, let's see. Well, it's usually Dusty that makes these matches. I'll make you a deal then. Scott Steiner gets a rematch at Booker T tonight for the US title. And I'll give you a shot at the tag titles. Oh, look. I don't speak for Booker T. I'm not going to say that he's defending a championship, right? I'm part of some leadership in the background. That's not who I am. That's not what this is. I just want to prove. I just want you. Tag titles tonight. Oh. Look, everyone knows you're not leadership. Let's not be stupid. Nah, I think uh, there has to be something in it, you know. There's got to be something in it for me. How about if you lose, your team is done. No more Rock and Roll Express. You know what? Deal. Because we will give it everything tonight. You ain't ending the Rock and Roll Express. That is not ending tonight. The Rock and Roll Express versus Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash tonight. Tag titles. And if we lose, we'll never team again. Well, oh, man, oh, man. That is a... Uh, oh, mic drop. Uh, that is... That could be a huge risk. You think of the tactics at the NWO employ. If the Rock and Roll Express do not win the Tag Team Championships tonight, their team is over. Oh, Dusty. And Goldberg telling him, Dusty, oh no, no, Dusty, what are you doing? He's in the face of Goldberg, where he's telling him to leave the arena. And oh, wait a minute, Goldberg! And Goldberg's not listening! Goldberg is not a happy man! It's Dusty Rhodes! He's being bombarded here! Oh, Dusty, what were you thinking? Getting in the face of Goldberg, this man! He's a loose cannon right now! Oh my god, and Dusty! Oh god, and oh man! Oh, not good. I hope there's no one in here. Oh, no, there is. <laughs> oh god, and Goldberg! And Goldberg is attacking Dusty right now! And Dusty Rhodes is being attacked by Goldberg. Can you blame him? Goldberg is not a happy man. Is oh wait a minute, Goldberg now. Goldberg! Oh my god! Dusty Rhodes just gets smashed through a table. Is Goldberg, the former world champion, is not in the mood tonight. Dusty was trying to stop him from entering the building, and it did not work out that way. Goldberg is on the rampage. Well, Booker T apparently has agreed to put the United States Championship on the line. As of course, last week, this was part of the, the deal that was made with Gibson and Dusty. To put the belts on the line. It, uh, well, it worked out well for Booker T, but Robert Gibson lost the TV title to Kurt Hennig. And of course, the tag title match started instantly right after that. So Gibson was not 100% for that match. As well, either way. St 
Steiner's getting a rematch after winning the championship. Lost it the very next night. Well, the Rock and Roll Express, man, their partnership is on the line tonight. Booker T got that US title back again. But Booker T going to have to defend it again right now. As I say, uh, well, we know there's going to be a six-man tag tonight, Wolfpack. Wolfpack versus uh, NWO members. Uh, Dusty Rhodes was not happy about the attack there. Apparently he's booked Scott Hall versus Diamond Dallas Page tonight. So there's no reason for those two to be booked against each other. The United States Championships on the line again here. The hardcore title is going to be on the line tonight as well. We've got plenty of uh, championship action happening on Nitro in recent weeks. Right, here we go. As Booker T doesn't want to lose the championship here. So he needs to try and pull this one off. Buff Bagwell is at ringside. Buff Bagwell who had the chance to become television champion. It didn't work out for him though. As in, oh man, Scott Stein up. Steiner was ready for action tonight. I don't think Booker T wasn't expecting to defend the US title here, so he's going to have to be ready. He got the win last week. Savage and Sting did come down to ringside last week, but they've got their own match to get ready for now. And Steiner with a shot right to the side of the head there. Booker T though, able to get that shoulder up. Scott Steiner going to get straight back onto him here. As Booker T right into the canvas. Uh, Scott Steiner. Determined to get that US title. This is NWO's thing right now. They want all the gold. Uh, I've actually forgot what the next pay-per-view is uh, for WCW. I had it written down. I forgot what name it was. Uncensored was the last one, wasn't it? Was it that Hog Wild or something like that? I've completely forgot. <laughs> well, Steiner's in control right now. Got him down. Determined to keep an eye on Buff Bagwell. We all know he won't hesitate to get involved if he can as uh, Goldberg is on the hunt backstage and he wants Dean Malenko man never mind Shawn Michaels he wants Dean Malenko Dusty Rhodes made the worst mistake he could possibly have done getting involved he just have stayed out of his way Goldberg is on the hunt cruiserweight champion Dean Malenko the assault he done before the title defence last week Goldberg still showed a lot of fight in that title match but man he took a hell of a whooping as Steiner and Booker T here Booker T is in the top rope. As Booker T is eyeballing. As Steiner's just having himself a little seat. As all oh, watch out and oh, buddy home. 90% of the time it never works. <laughs> but look at that. Booker T able to use some parkour skills, get right back up on his feet. As all oh, but the Samoan drop on the outside. Booker T now. And Steiner, man, follows up with that neck breakup. Rake to the eyes, chopped into the ropes. And Booker T now is, oh God, the official. Steiner 
Steiner though, I think Booker T got a bit distracted the fact the official went down. And Steiner trying to take advantage of this as he goes into the cover here. The Irish whip comes back and oh my god, Booker T bounced off the ropes in the edge of the apron there, my god. Oh, that was a bad landing for Booker T there, who appears to have been busted open by that. He, his head bounced off two of the ropes and right off the edge of the ring, which, if you don't know, is the hardest part of the ring. As a backbreaker now on Booker T, and Scott Steiner sees the open wound, and he is taking full advantage of it now. Is Booker T able to trip the leg there? Desperation from Booker T. It's Booker T, who could be concussed right now after that, that hit. He's just trying to stay on Scott Steiner now. As Booker T, and Booker T able to land the spine buster there. As he quickly dies in the cover, but Buff Bagwell's got the official. Come on! It's Booker T now, though, back in his feet. It's, oh, and he's got Scott Steiner, and the book ends! The book ends as he hooks the leg, and oh my god, you've got to be kidding! Buff Bagwell, come on! This is no, come on, Booker T has got the belt retained. And, and the referee, the referee's had enough, he is ejecting Buff Bagwell, who just got involved in the match twice there. As Booker T... He's trying his damnedest right now. But oh wait, Scott Steiner though, able to catch him there, plants him with a huge DDT. And Scott Steiner, looking to get into the cover here. But Booker T, still able to stay in this. And Scott Steiner is all over him now. And Booker T just having it taken to him, who had the match won it. Oh, Booker! Look at the strength of Booker T! Oh! Ho, ho. And Booker T's going up and oh, and look at that rolling to the outside. He was probably going for that Houston hangover, but Booker T this day. Oh, Booker! As oh, look at the jab. As in, oh, what a super kick by Booker T. Booker T is all over him right now. As we're fighting on the outside, going at it, full on brawl here. And Steiner throws Booker T back into the ring. He's on, staying up, aiming for that lower back. His Booker T, not a good position to be in. His Booker, though. His Booker T now. Blast, Scott Steiner. Right off the corner, out. Neck breaker. He's on, Booker T. He's stalking out here. He's got Steiner again. Another book ends. His Booker T. Hooks the leg of Scott Steiner. Oh, my God. Booker T cannot believe it. He thought he had the match won. And, oh, Booker, though, Booker ain't waiting. And, oh, he's got him again. And a third book ends. Booker T with a third book ends. Hooks the leg of Scott Steiner and Booker T retains. Oh man, as soon as Buff got involved, I thought it was looking bad, but thank God. This is a night that is not going NWO's way so far. They might have Rock and Roll Express putting their tag team career on the line, but Dusty Rhodes, he's been attacked backstage. Goldberg's on the rampage. 
and Scott Steiner just failed to win the United States Championship. Here Booker T, as soon as he got busted he open, I thought, I thought that was it for him. Champion, but Booker T, somehow, football. some way, getting busted open made him fight even harder as he retains the United States Championship here tonight. Well, Dusty's not in a good mood backstage. He's just demanded to these guys they better go out and win. Introducing first. As uh, Vincent and Rick Rudd going to be in action here. Rick Rudd been getting right back into the match action recently. Uh, when it comes to the stables, there's technically two NWOs, so that's why two are coming out together. And Kurt Hennig will come out in his own. Or you can only put five people into a stable. I'd like them to change that and you can still put like 10 guys like if you wanted to build a proper big NWO stable you can well either way Kurt Hennig last week became TV champ it was a very different Kurt Hennig from the night before it didn't help that he attacked Robert Gibson after the match as well and then that's when Dusty decided to ring the bell for the tag title match to go down. Robert Gibson beaten down on. Morton and Gibson didn't get off to a good start in that match either. But he is the new television champion now. Well, there is the Wolf Pack. Lex Luger. Kicked out of the NWO. Right, man, if you think back to 2K18, uh, Lex Luger and Sting, they were a team. Lex Luger joined the NWO, but he always seemed to be hesitant while part of the NWO. Either way, these guys have got their opportunity tonight. Vincent and Luger starting things off here and Vincent being very quick getting right on to Luger there. Luger former NWO and hell even Macho, Macho Madness over there he was former NWO as well. They are Wolfpack now. And Luger. Oh, Rick Rudd and Luger there. <laughs> They've been exchanging words. Uh, Rick Rudd not happy with the fact Luger joined the Wolfpack. As in, oh, what a boot there. And Vincent trying to stay on Luger right now. As I say, we've got the Tag Team Championship main event, tag titles versus tag career. The Rock and Roll Express lose tonight. They no longer team the Rock and Roll Express is finished if they lose. This technically they would become single competitors after all. And no oh, right in the corner there. And Vincent with a knee. Hennig, the new television champion. I mean, Savage have had plenty of issues in the past. As Savage goes right over the top rope. And Henning now. Savage, they're going at it on the outside here. As all watch out, and oh man, almost right off that, right off the ring barrier there. 
is all Hennig now on the outside here with a quick snap suplex. Six. Oh, count of six here. Try to scoop him down on the outside. Savage though going to get him right back into the ring. As Savage makes a tag here, Luger's in. Senig and Luger back to it with these two now. Is, oh, Luger though able to get that shot there. Oh, went for the Luger lariat there. Hennig though very quick to duck that one. As I say we got a very different cut Hennig last week on Nitro than what we saw at the last pay-per-view. As Luger gets the boot up. And sends the new TV champ right down to the corner. Big shot in the corner there. As in, there's the Luger Lariat. And Lex Luger. Just staring at him. Come on, Luger. Yep, that was your own fault. And Henny gave it quickly there. Just get that Russian leg sweep in. And Henny going to take advantage. Vintage cut Henny right there. And oh, wait a minute. Stalking out. Look up. As. And that Henning Plex there takes him down. Savage though, not letting that one. And oh, and he sees. And oh, and look at Henning. Who just Vincent clobbered harder than Savage did. And oh, yeah, and here comes Rick Rude. He's uh, having issues with. And getting. Oh, the brutal neck wrench! I looked away! <laughs> It was rude that Luger made tap out in the six man they had at the uncensored pay per view. I can't remember what the last pay per view was. Oh, wait a minute. Luger, Luger now. And oh, what did I just say? It was him that made Rude tap out. And it looks like he's going to try and get him again here. No, oh, he's gone up. And Rude trying to battle out of this. Doesn't want to be made to tap out again. And, oh, and a quick drop toe hold there. Vincent makes his way back round to the corner. There's Luger and a shot right on the arm. And oh, wait a minute. Luger now up on the shoulders again. And oh, God, he's gone up again. And oh, Rude. Can Rude take it? It's Rude. He's just trying to bar his way out of this. And Rude quickly shoves him off into the corner. And making the tag very quickly there. As Hennig now comes off. And oh, watch out, got caught though, is Luger. Well, Savage back in now. Oh, and he might be thinking, yeah, watch out, you watch out, and oh, come on, Vincent. Vincent with a cheap shot there. As in, oh, and Hennig there. Oh, watch out. Caught though. Oh, there's a lot of bookends there. And Savage. And oh man, 
Bad landing for Rude. Right on the knee there, he's holding that knee. And now look at Hennig there, cheap shot by Hennig. Absolute man, cheap shot there. It's Rude, and no, oh, man, I think I just pissed Savage off. Rude gonna try and keep him down. And, oh, man. And a suplex on the outside. and he's going over here and Luger's back in and Luger goes right through Rude wrenching the arm here there's Rude though trying to hit his way out as Rude grabs Luger and a pile driver on Luger As now trying to get submission in of his own, but Luger out of it. Caught with the elbow there, and oh man, a larry of his own. And well, Rudd feeling good about himself. You see, he would love to get a pin on Luger right now. And it, oh god, man, what a collision there from everybody. But, oh, he takes advantage of it, though. As another pale driver, he took full advantage of that. Oh, my God, he just got right back up on his feet. And look up. As it... Oh, man, what an elbow. Oh, look up, busted. What the hell? That elbow right to the head there. As look up, though. As all... Oh. Goes behind here and look at Vincent in the ring. And Vincent gets a lariat right through the back of his head. And speaking of lariats. Man, look at Enrud. There's all, oh, wait a minute. Enrud now. Yeah, he's going to look for this neck range. Neck range, sorry, neck breaker. If he'd done a neck range now, it'd be the ultimate move. As, and Hennig, Hennig went to get Savage and invertedly took out the referee. Oh my God. Hennig, you dumbass. As Root going to try and take advantage here. I'm going to take advantage here. <laughs> Who's got moves? And oh, wait a minute, and Sting! Sting! Oh, and the Stinger just bombed him! And he takes down Vincent! It's rude! He's got him up again here! And again, rude is locked in! Oh, God! And Rick Rood taps out again to Lex Luger. Lex Luger sticks it to Rood once again. Rood was able to fight out of that a couple of times. Here's Luger and Rood had themselves a little battle in this match. The referee get put down, Sting took advantage, powerbomb and Rude then taking Vincent off the apron and the Wolfpack gets the win tonight. It ain't going NWO's way tonight. Is that a sign of things to come in the main event when the tag titles are on the line? As well, these three celebrating here. As Savage, Sting and Luger. They're going to leave the ring, they're going to make their way backstage. Is Rick Rood in the ring as Vincent and Hennig all climbing in to try and help him up? Is uh, 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 oh no, oh no, oh no, here comes, here comes Goldberg. Goldberg's making his way to the ring. 
as in Goldberg is in the ring. Is Goldberg? Is Kurt Hennig trying to catch the leg? Is in oh Goldberg? Is everyone is trying to get on him here? And oh God! Is Goldberg? Oh Vincent, you're on your own. You're on your own. And oh God! Is Goldberg? Goldberg has got Vincent up. And oh, Goldberg going after Rude. And oh man, Goldberg is a very unhappy man right now. Is oh God off the ring post. Oh, oh Goldberg. Vincent has been taken down. Is oh Goldberg, what are you doing? It's Goldberg. And oh man. And oh wait a minute, Goldberg. Goldberg is stalking out Hennig here on the outside. And oh man, the spear. And Kurt Hennig was just taken down with a huge spear on the outside. As Goldberg now has got Rude in the ring. And oh, Rude, he's just been racked by Ulligal. And now, oh, God. And oh, man, he's straight on to him now. As Goldberg, God, man, pretty much just speared him. Oh, he's got his eyes. He's got his eyes on our announcer's table here. Goldberg is on the rampage. This man has lost his mind. Is it looks like the new television champion. The new TV champ. Oh my god, look at the strength of Goldberg! God damn! Oh my god! Oh, he just got demolished. Oh, first it was Vincent. He got dropped. Oh, the spear on the outside. Then it was Rude who got dropped. And then Hennig, the TV champ, right through the table. And Goldberg in the ring. He is on the rampage tonight. He is on the hunt. He is going after the NWO. He is a walking one-man army. My God. The following contest is an extreme rules match. And it's for the WCW Hardcore Championship. Well, hardcore title on the line after what we just saw Goldberg do. Goldberg backstage. It's Dusty Rhodes, man. They've got the police and everything to get Goldberg as well. Here comes Conan. Conan, of course. He's on a challenge here as, wait a minute. And up on the stage, there's the hardcore champion, Raven. And oh, I don't think Conan realizes what's behind him here. As in, oh, come on. And Raven, this crazy son of a bitch that he is. As in, oh my god, attacking Conan, using the championship as a weapon.
And, oh, God, off the steel steps. And Conan being assaulted right now. As Conan, along with the filthy animals, haven't half been having the run-ins with Raven and his flock. So it's just the two of these guys out here right now, but Raven with a sneak attack is taking full advantage. As, well, Conan's trying to fight back here. But after being attacked, that's easier said than done. And Raven right now. There's Raven on the outside here. Russian leg sweep. And Raven assaulting Conan. And Conan, man. Is all Raven up on the feet here as all went for him with a steel chair there, but Conan able to catch him and he needed to do that. As a door, oh. it's Raven doing whatever he can right now. As Conan has been assaulted. And oh, Raven, 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 as he gets him with the DDT. And I think that could do it, man. Not as crazy as our usual hardcore matches. And, oh! Shoulder up! And oh, Raven didn't like that one. Conan just kicked out of the Raven DDT. As again, Conan is trying to get back into this here. And oh, and he got dropped right on the steel chair. Suplex perfectly right on it. But look at this man still. Giving it his all here. His all, oh God. And oh, God, again. Dropped on back of his head, right on the steel chair. As ah, Raven now. And again, he's going to aim for the steel chair. DDT. Isn't it? Well, rolling to the outside there, which is a smart move, to be fair. Raven not letting this one go. That is for damn sure. As he's bouncing them off the barricade here. As Raven has him back in the ring. As Raven. And Raven again here. And another DDT. As Conan again trying to get to the outside of the ring. Is it? Oh, Conan. Desperation there. More than anything else. As it? Oh, the atomic drop. As into the corner. And oh, God. As in Raven. Oh, no, no, no. Raven. Raven. Oh, come on. And the pile driver right on the steel chair. Well, the sneak attack by Raven. My God. He attacked him with the title belt on the way to the ring. He kicked out of the DDT, but then, man, that was a final bit right there. Bullseye right on that steel chair. Is Raven. Raven retains. And well, Raven. You think of the stuff this man has done? As. And all, all right, right. Come on, Raven. When it's over, it's over. Raven, for the love of God, Raven, give it a rest, would you? 
come on! What's wrong with this man? Another DDT. I'm not sure if he landed on a chair there or not. He might have just missed it, but even still, this guy is just crazy, man. This bad enough with the Wolfpack in the NWO. We've got the bloody filthy animals in Raven's flock to deal with as well. And Raven retains his hardcore title tonight anyway. Well, that tag title match is coming up soon, but first, uh, Scott Hall's been booked in a singles match against Diamond Dallas Page here. Making his way to the ring. Well, the former, former world champ himself. Well, Scott Hall last week, he, he tried to help Goldberg, actually. He, he tried to actually stand in his corner. He tried to help Goldberg in his, in his match. But... It wasn't to be Goldberg after the assault by Malenko. Malenko, who, according to NWO, isn't here tonight. But I think Malenko is hiding somewhere. Well, DDP also stood in the corner with Goldberg last week, as much as their tag team might no longer be a thing. DDP and Holt going to go one on one here. I can tell you as well, Rick Rudd has demanded a one on one match at Spring Stampede, does the next pay per view. A one on one match has been demanded against Lex Luger. Rick Rudd wants Luger one on one. I think he feels a bit embarrassed as. Oh, wait a minute, and there's the NWO music. Oh, and well, where are they? Where are they? Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. there's Malenko! Malenko! And Malenko is in the ring! And Dean Malenko just dropped Scott Hall! The Cruiserweight Champion! The cruiserweight champion Dean Malenko, the newest member of the NWO, the man who assaulted Goldberg last week, just about beat him senseless. As well, Page crawls over here. He sees Hall down, but and Hall, he would turn, get that shoulder up there. I don't even think DDP realizes what happened. Well, Paige, either way, Dean Malenko getting involved in this one, so he is here. You better run, because if Goldberg, although Goldberg's uh, been ejected from the building now, the police is uh, taking him out of the building. Dusty wanted him out. As all watch out. Hall, though, he wanted to take advantage of Scott Hall trying to get back into this one. There's Hall and Paige, there's... I mean, there's nothing on the line here. This isn't for anything. This is just uh, these two being booked in a match to satisfy Dusty Rhodes. Obviously, Dusty not the uh, happiest man right now. There's Paige and Hall. As in Hall, man, eats the ring post. Yeah, we're back in the ring now. As in Hall. Quick close line there. As well, these two ain't going to hesitate to go at it with each other. That's for damn sure. You think of the matches that they've had back and forth over the last couple of months. Bloody tag team matches between Hall and Nash, Goldberg and Page. 
Eyes and oh, oh, right off the apron. Two, two, three. A big chop there. As Page and Page and oh, hole oh, taken down. It was a neck that Dean Malenko dropped him on. These guys need to get back in the ring here. I think he's only put them off the steps. No, 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 he never. Well, either way, Paige will still look at this as a, a hell of a match to get a one-on-one -on -one win in. Scott Hall still is a former world champ, so. Oh, oh, Scott Hall threw the hand up there. As Page now. As Page is in the top rope. And Diamond Dallas Page comes off. Scott Hall catches him though, man. Damn, what a drop. There's old Scott Hall. Catches him. And a huge choke slam by Scott Hall. And Scott Hall not finished here. As he's got Page. And Scott Hall is Page though with the back body drop. Well, I say it's not a, well, it was the outsider's bomb. I mean, it could still be an outsider bomb, technically. You could just call it a wolf pack bomb. A wolf bomb. Nice, Scott Hall. Don't know why Malenko decided to go after Hall in this match. Oh, no, man. <laughs> Everyone's second favourite move. Nearly got the victory there. Ah, it's Page now. Laying in with these shots. Diamond Dallas Page. A little shot to the leg there as Page is now stalking. Might be looking for... The diamond, uh, no, Scott Hall pushed him off. Page, though, straight back onto him. And, oh, takes him down there. And Page might have it. Scott Hall gets his shoulder up. Oh, man. Thought Page had it there. As old official. As old Scott Hall though caught him. And the ref just a small bump. He's back in his feet. Is Scott Hall here? What's Scott Hall doing with him? And oh man, a running power bomb right into the corner. It wasn't obviously the possession that he would normally do. Usually it's that cross power bomb as it looks like that's what he's going for now, but he just threw him right into the corner. As Scott Hall now has got him up. And down he goes. Call it what you want. I think Scott Hall might have this one now. As he rolls Page over, hooks the leg here. But oh man! Diamond Dallas Page recently has been just one hell of a performer. His Hall now just drops the elbow. Doesn't know what to do. It's Scott Hall. 
And Scott Hall staying on him, man, as Scott Hall scoops him up again here. As, whoa, and look at the strength of Scott Hall, everyone's second favourite move right on the top rope. A little cheap shot at the leg there as Scott Hall and Page going at it again, man. <laughs> These guys really know how to give you the matches. And Scott Hall now, after all these shots, goes into a cover here. But Page again throws, throws him off. Oh, Page there. Is, whoa, watch out. Page takes him down. And oh, Page though, straight back onto him. And look at Page, he is fired up right now. And drops Scott Hall. As he just lands on top of him. And Page gets the win. Well, Dean Malenko did get involved, don't forget that. Hall done well to fight back in. TDP though, just fired up at the end there. Diamond Dallas Page gets the victory. And Diamond Dallas Page victorious in this one. Oh, it's a good win for Page. Malenko got involved. Don't know why he got involved. I think he's just messing with Goldberg, letting him know he's here. But either way, he came in, he dropped Scott Hall. Hall done well to fight back, but Page got the win anyway. Well, people, main event time, tag titles on the line. Rock and Roll Express's tag team career is on the line. Tag titles on the line. And oh, wait a minute, and look who's back in the building. Goldberg. Well, the Rock and Roll Express, it's all on the line as Goldberg has made his way through the crowd. And Goldberg, well, Goldberg has a ticket. Let's go down the usual route. As well, here comes Shawn Michaels and Kevin Nash along with trillionaire Ted DiBiase. The tag team champions, Shawn Michaels, of course, also the world heavyweight champion after last week's mess. Now, Rock and Roll Express, man, it is all on the line tonight from you guys. The Tag Team Championships are on the line. We've seen two titles on the line tonight. Both have been retained. But it has not been a good night for the NWO. As Goldberg is pacing at ringside here. He's got himself a ticket. On the way to the ring. Rock and Roll Express. And in 2K18, they had a hell of a rivalry with the Von Eriks over the Tag Team Championships. In 2K19, they've shown what they can do as solo stars, both of them holding the TV title. They even faced each other. Shawn Michaels has came to WCW and taken this place by storm. He wasn't lying when he said that. It's Nash and Hall. Nash and Hall. Well, Nash and Hall were a hell of a team, but it's Michaels and Nash now. As they are going to defend these titles, Rock and Roll Express, though, the tag team career is on the line. If they do not win the tag team championships here, now, then their team is over. It is all on the line. So here we go then. Is Nash going to use his strength?
Kevin Nash straight away. Got to pretend Goldberg's at the other side of the barrier. He's got a ticket. He's watching. He paid for his ticket. It's completely legal. He's technically a fan. You can't kick a fan out. He's going to pretend he's the other side of the barrier. As Ricky Morton's able to fight back here. He's in control of Nash now. Oh, spoke too soon. He's into the corner and makes the tag to the new world champion, Shawn Michaels. There's Michaels, everyone's setting favourite move right on the top rope. As, oh, Morton though, over the back. And Nick Grinch, brutal Nick Grinch. Rock and roll, it, rock, rock, blah, blah, blah. rock and roll express need to pull out everything tonight. Their partnership is on the line. Look at Michael's man just tearing into Gibson with the right hands. And oh man. As all Gibson got caught. Gibson drops the knee on him. And right over the top rope. There's the tag, big sexy back in. There's Gibson just back up to his feet here, but oh man, Nash right through his back. Gibson getting some shots in of his own here. Uh, Gibson count of six. Uh, I mean, a draw, though. No, no, a count out. And, oh, yeah, this isn't going to work, is it? He's getting ready to run back in the ring. Right, come on, Gibson. Okay, I'm not having this main event ending a count out. That's just terrible. There's Gibson though, Gibson just staying on Nash right now. Right into those steps again. He's back into the ring, we're just going to give him a little help here. <laughs> just may as well give him that little boost, eh? The shot on Nash. There's Robert Gibson into the corner. As he makes a tag to Ricky Morton. Nash though, once again, using that strength, just launching Ricky, but Ricky got the boot up. As he quickly blasts Nash across the ring. Big shot there. As Nash back to his feet again, man, just the power. Brute force. Rock and Roll Express, at least this we could actually fit and ready for this match. As in, well, Ricky Morton with a drop kick there. Look at Ted DiBiase up on the apron, trying to get the referee's attention. And Ted DiBiase there getting a, getting a scare. Trillionaire Ted not liking what he saw. As Nash now, pulling him down on the ropes. And oh, a shot by Nash. And oh man, not looking good right now. Oh 
man, he is busted open. Nash was ripping at that window, second a goal. And oh man, Nash now has got Ricky Morton. Ricky Morton jackknifed. As he hooks the leg here, Gibson needs to get in and break that pin. And look at Nash right back onto him. And Kevin Nash, a former heavyweight champion. Current tag champ, multiple time tag team champion. Former US champ. Being a heavyweight champ in multiple companies. It's Owen Morton. Little spin kick there. His tag partner's not in position though. Gibson taken down by Nash after breaking that pin. Is all oh, watch out though. Catches Michaels. DDT is the referee never saw the cover there and the referee took too long it's Owen Michaels desperation with a the knee there it's Robert Gibson back to his feet Ricky Morton was obviously wanting to make a tag there but Gibson was not in position as now, I know I thought he was going to go sharpshoot or no. Went figure four here and he's got that really tightened up there but couldn't hold it. Might have broke the ropes actually. As in, oh wait, Michaels. And again here, again locking this in. And Ricky Morton. Oh man. And oh, well, Sean Michaels. Shades of his uh, other former team there. Sean Michaels is in absolute control right now. As well, Ricky Morton able to push him off. And he, he can't, can't get into a tag. It's like the old Resident Evil games when there was a plank of wood on the ground and he just couldn't step over it. As there's the tag, Robert Gibson. Gibson comes in, but Michaels is right there. As well, oh, Gibson dropped to hold. Now wrench to the arm, Michaels with a right hand. And now Michaels wrenching the arm, but Gibson back with the elbow as Gibson grabs him. Bulldog! And Dimiassi, come on! As Michaels. And sweet chin music! Oh, come on! Not like this! Oh! DiBiase, you bastard! DiBiase, the pin! Gibson landed that signature bulldog, went for the pin, and DiBiase was right up on the apron. His Goldberg could do nothing but watch. Gibson was able to break up that jackknife. Morton caught him there. The referee here, man, took forever to actually start the count. Look, he was like, well, wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's a pin. I was told that in referee school. Took him a while to get in there. Gibson landed that bulldog. DiBiase was right up on the apron to get that referee's attention. And as Gibson then went to pick up Michaels, he got caught. Sweet chin music. And the Rock and Roll Express is over. They're done. They are finished. Nash and Michaels. Nash and Michaels. They're still tag team champions and the Rock and Roll Express are done.
DiBiase with a distraction. Dumbass for a referee. Ladies and gentlemen, not the ending we were hoping for. Not the storybook ending we were wanting. The Rock and Roll Express is no longer. They will not be allowed to team together anymore in this universe. Ladies and gentlemen, like, share and subscribe. Leave those comments down below. It's a depressing end. It really is. What will happen to these guys next? We'll find out. I'll see you in the next episode. As oh, actually, wait a minute. The video isn't ending there by... Uh, I was asked in the comments to show the roster. Don't know why you want to see, but I did say I would do it, so I won't end the video there. So I don't know if I've had it mentioned a couple of times. Can you show your actual roster? But I mean, it's it's not really that much to actually show. Um, I mean, when I think about it, the oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, the menu music's turned off. That's all right. <laughs> don't want to get caught for copyright things. So. I actually keep forgetting I've got Bam Bam Bigelow there. But yeah, obviously that's the roster. Obviously somebody in the comments, they said if you could show your roster. Obviously Bret Hart, he's on a... You could say hiatus. He took a, a little break to get himself sorted. Uh, obviously certain guys that you've seen in the show before. Um, like, uh, I'm trying to think of ones. But obviously if they're custom superstars, I'll just delete them and re-download them when I need them again. Because you only get 100 spots. I'm sure Goldberg will be coming after him, that's for damn sure. Uh, Greg the Hammer, of course, Night Up. Keep forgetting about a lot of these guys you've got as well. Uh, there's Billy Kidman, a bit more run down, part of the flock, of course. Conan, the filthy animals. La Parker, we haven't actually used him since Raven. Uh, beat the shit out of him. Um, Mortis, Psychosis, Randy, Raven. Uh, Rey Mysterio Jr., Got Rick Martel in there, but I've never actually used them. Uh, I've got them in WCW, but I've never actually used them. Um, I just don't really know much about Rick Martel, so I'm not sure what to do with them. Uh, I'm sure there's something we could do at some point. Uh, Steamboat we've used a handful of times. Roddy Piper's not been seen since his Raven rivalry. Uh, Michael's, of course, rocking the double belt still. Uh, Big Sid we haven't used much of. Tatanka, I've only really used him. And I think the last time we saw him, I actually, I actually think I used him in the Rumble for WWF. Uh, Vader, Vampiro, Vincent. See, that's all that's in there. The news, I say, some guys, uh, well, obviously Ric Flair's part of it, but uh, um, he's on like, a hiatus as well right now. Um, as I say, we do have custom guys, but obviously I've only got 100 slots, so you can only use so many. And then you've got to delete it. And speaking of deletion... They are done. They are done. The Rock and Roll Express is done. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as I said, somebody asked if they could see um, obviously that. So, there you go. You saw the rosters. But, yeah, not a good ending for that one, then, eh? Well, as I said, people like, share, subscribe, leave your comments down below. You asked to see the roster. There you go. Um, so like, share, subscribe, leave your comments and I'll see you in the next episode.